y'all this is your girl Tashin and I'm back with another video <laughs> how y'all doing how y'all doing so I'm gonna be reacting to uh, what Indians think of the US the US I was gonna say the USA but of course USA America <laughs> um, Wow, when I think of in, um, India, um, India, I think of how packed it is out there. It's so packed. I see videos where like people be packed on the train, and it's, it's just a lot of people. It's a lot of people. I never, I never had Indian food, but there's a lot of Indian food here in New York. If you ever come to New York, um, there's a lot of Indian food everywhere. You'll find, you'll find Indian food. Especially here in New York, um, especially in Manhattan, I forgot what street that is. It's somewhere on First Street, like that whole that whole neighborhood is nothing but Indian food. I never tried Indian food before. I have my, um, one of my best friends; she's Indian, and um, she did invite me to her house one time. But this is when we had the COVID was so serious. I was like, I didn't want to take a chance. So I didn't go, but she, the day food just smells so good. And I heard that they're known for their curry. Their curry is good. But one of these days, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna definitely gonna try some Indian food. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. And y'all very, and Indian people are very sweet and friendly people, very sweet. Uh, yeah, and that's, I don't really know much. That's, I don't really know much about India. That's all I, that's all I know. <laughs> Everybody, it's Monique from Asian Boss. America has been recognized as a leading global superpower for decades. But more nuanced global perspectives on America often go unnoticed. Given that U.S. President Donald Trump has spoken very highly of Indian Prime Minister Modi, we thought it would be interesting to hear what everyday Indians think about Trump and about America in general. So let's turn it over to our Asian boss reporter in New Delhi to hear what people have to say. Uh, what is your current impression of the United States? The first word that pops out is definitely Trump <laughs> and a not-so-free country and really racist. The first thing is Donald Trump. And second thing is America is like a, a superpower. America is hegemony in the world. I think the United States does a really good job at uh, giving their citizens uh, freedom. Uh, it's good, but yeah. it creates a very volatile culture. Actually, it's a good country to visit and uh, as well as for future, like people of India, we can go there and have a better life. And moreover, it's like a, you know, Cultural, glo culturally globalized country. Everybody like, wants Everybody to go wants and settle to go and try there, yeah. in America. So yeah. In general, what's your impression of Americans? You know, वो पसंद करते हैं अपनी life में कुछ भी करना. Means they don't do like things कि हमें नहीं करना है. वो ज़्यादा सोचते नहीं हैं. They live their life. I see Americans as a bit of the show of people. They have their own world and they are very proudy and they think that there's no one above them. I find that uh, some people... Not this American. I never treat anyone or f make people feel that I'm, I'm above them. That's just not my... We all, we all live on earth and we're all going through struggles. So I never feel like I'm better than the next person or I never act like I'm better than... Yeah, and any, better than, pe better than the other people in other countries. Like, it that's gets crazy. It really racist. Uh, against Indians, take uh, the Shah Rukh Khan uh, case into consideration. Like every time he goes to visit America, the policemen always stop him just because he's a Muslim. So I think the racism is a, a big problem in America. It is. It's it's, it's 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 ridiculous. I just don't understand. I don't understand why we can't just love each other and respect one another. Why you gotta treat someone different because of the color of their skin? It's just it's so stupid. Open to you know talking to different kind of people and you know from other races and countries, but like the white minority, it's like it's that minority is a little orthodox yeah. in orthodox. their thing, thinking. They feel as if you know all the Indians or the other people they're taking away their jobs and everything. What does American accent sound like? People, yeah, people always feel threatened when somebody else comes from another country and they come and better their life and they get a job and stuff like that people do feel some type of way like oh they come here and take over the jobs there's jobs everywhere i don't know i never think of that but there are people who do think you know feel that type of way they feel threatened because somebody 
from another country is gonna take over their job like <laughs> it's always gonna be work there's always gonna be some way to make money so it's so stupid Tell it to you, do I? <laughs> Let me. Who talks like that? Not me. <laughs> I don't know. There's who something talks about like the American that. accent, okay? Uh, it's very different, but uh, you know, the uh, English accent is quite classier. British is better. Why do you My American people gonna be mad at me for saying this, but um, I kind of agree with him. British accent to me sounds better. I like how the way they put they pronounce certain words. I like how the way they um I don't know. I just I like their slang about certain things. I don't know. I personally liked it. Sorry, I prefer British accent. I just wish I I wish I was born talking that way. British accent is better. It's comparatively easily to understand. I am more of a fan of a British, British accent. accent yeah. it, it sounds more classy. There are a lot of accents I would prefer over their way of speaking the language. Do you get the impression that the US is welcoming towards visitors and immigrants? Yes, quite frankly, they have been good to visitors uh, in spite of that 9-11 issue. After that, there have been security issues with them, but that is okay, it's their country, they have every right to do so. It really depends on where you are. A lot of my friends, they have gone to the US and some of them, um, they don't face difficulties at all, while others, um, like they're facing racism on a day-to-day -day basis. A friend of mine, he's, uh, he's in, he was in uh, Wake Forest, and um, he faced racism, racism on a day-to-day -day basis. Like they'd, they'd make fun of him, they'd, they'd tell him he sounds of curry and stuff. Oh, my younger brother. That is sad. I love my Indian people. Oh my God. Like I said, one of my friends, she's, she's like one of my closest friends. I love her so much. Um, she's Indian and she's the sweetest person that I ever met. We, we start off as co-workers. We both used to work at a, um, a children's home, but we, we no longer work there anymore. I work in the hospital. I think she works at a school and we're still friends to this day. Um, yeah, we're very close. We talk to each other mostly every single day. I love her. Uh, I don't understand why people treat people like that. It's just sad. Sad. Brother also has had certain instances in school where being an Indian, he's not exactly faced racism that would like scar him. But yeah, there have been instances of very mild racism, but it's racism nonetheless. Racism is racism. That's nonetheless. basically because the white minority has that kind of superiority, superiority complex, complex inside yeah. them. So yeah. we're a we're like an, in, an inferior class yeah. Yeah. according to them. So. Uh, what was the latest news that you saw from America? So, gun, if I, gun, uh, there's been uh, gun rights going on yeah. in the US, killing of students in schools and oh. illegal hittings everywhere. It's quite scary, but I think uh, we have terrorist attacks in India and there is mass shooting in America and both are equal, I think. Being uh, away, the mo You see what I'm saying? You see what... I you see what I'm talking about? And when I say, well, I mentioned this in other videos because other people in other countries always saying, oh, America is bad because of the gun violence. There are violence everywhere. Not just guns, people. It, it, crimes going on everywhere around the world. People are killing each other. People are uh, uh, not just shooting, but you could stab someone, kidnap somebody, uh, put a uh, set of bombs in other countries just to kill as many people they want um there's crimes everywhere um i live in new york there's crimes i know there's crimes going on every day i don't I, I don't experience it every day um i don't live in a perfect um country or i don't live in a perfect state or a perfect neighborhood there's always going to be that one person who's going to be an asshole and do something do something stupid um, but that's everywhere. I've been trying to tell people that that's everywhere. So don't be afraid to visit another country and experience things yourself. Don't be afraid. So yeah, this is ridiculous. Most powerful nation in the world. 
I think that is what everyone expects from that country. Heartbreaking, actually. Exactly. It's disappointing from a country like that to hear such news. Most of the mass shootings have been done by the white, the white, white yeah, yeah. teenagers, it's not, basically. It's not the other. So I think there's something about their bringing up yeah. over there, the way you know they are accustomed in their heads, like you know they are the superior people. Can you imagine all these mass shootings happening in India? If by any chance our laws were a little less, you know, stringent than this. There would have been like mass killings every other Everywhere. day, every other yeah. day. I think we would have surpassed the US in these, these kind of killings, <laughs> yeah. the kind of people, the kind of mentality we have there, yeah, the kind yeah. of, you know, cultural and religious riots we have every second yeah, day. Yeah. How do you feel about the US President Donald Trump? Donald Trump as a politician, I don't know much. उसकी पर्सनल लाइफ को इतना दिखाया जाता है मीडिया में कि वो आज सम प्रोस्टिट्यूट्स उसके अगेंस्ट शू करती हैं देन देन तो आई डोंट लाइक हिम एट ऑल आई डोंट ही इज लाइक रियली रेसिस्ट एंड आई डोंट लाइक हिज सेक्सिस्ट कमेंट्स इधर लुक एट हिज यू नो स्पीचेस एंड द वे ही टॉक्स टू वुमेन स्पेसिफिकली ही ट्रीट्स वुमेन लाइक अ कमोडिटीज लाइक यू नो एन एक्सेसरी टू हिज पावर और समथिंग ही इज द दैट्स द ओनली थिंग दैट गॉट ट्रंप अ लॉट ट्रबल इज हिज माउथ अम Some people just love Trump because they love f- for what he stands for. Um he's he's one of those presidents as very uh now then he's not afraid to say what he wants to say. But sometimes, you know, sometimes you still got to be careful what you say about certain things. And it's not about what you say, it's how you say it. I have nothing against Trump. The only thing I had problem with Trump was yeah, stuff like that. Um yeah, and then yeah. That's the only thing. But I like I said, I don't talk too much about politics. I don't like I said every president they don't really have the control of everything. They have to go through Congress. If they want things to happen, they have to go through Congress. They every president have someone they have to answer to. You want certain thing done, you got to go through Congress. It doesn't work that way. You don't just say, "Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sign off this and I'm going to do this and we we're going to make this happen." It doesn't work that way people. You got to go through Congress. Um uh what's his name? Uh President Obama mentioned that already. That every time he wants certain things done, he always get the answer no. He can't do anything. Any and and any future president, they can't really do much. They're just faces. They're just a body that's just there in the front of the camera. They can make a few little changes, but not a lot. So, yeah, that's like me That's like me being the a class president. I have to go through the principal. I have to go through the principal. I have to go through the 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 teacher, the staff, everybody. Like I can't just decide, okay, I want to give all the kids free lunch every day or or I want to give the kids uh no homework every day. Like, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> they got to an- they got to answer to you got to answer to somebody. So, yeah, everybody got to answer to somebody. The states more DG I think they're very similar. Uh not very similar but um they have uh, a lot of things in common. Donald Trump has actually spoken very highly of our Prime Minister Modi and the US India relationship. Why do you think Trump has spoken so highly of him? And they have this perception of Indians that we're not even like threatening so maybe like he's got this good positive reaction towards Indians. It's because they have the same political ideology. What sort of relationship would you like to see between India and America? I would like to see a good relationship because, like, they're like this powerhouse. No one wants to mess with. You take an example of a bully. Like, you want to be, even though it's a bad thing, but you want to be in his good side. So you're like, you're not the target, yeah. If the, if Trump has said something good about us, they probably have some yeah. underlying uh, yeah, you know, benefit I, in yeah, that. Yeah, that's all. But anyway, I mean, like, India is can... a growing economy. Yeah. We offer a lot of opportunities, and you know. CEO of Google is an Indian. Like, we are like literally, you know, yeah. taking those kind of companies forward. You, nobody can deny the fact that Indians are the people who are going everywhere. I mean, aren't Americans mostly pissed at Indians because we go over there and take all their exactly. jobs? Exactly. <laughs> so if you don't speak highly of us and if you don't literally give us the undue credit, they do. They do. I mean, the lot. US is going to come down. It's, it's going to be down yeah. for the US. It's become a superpower and a huge and big round of applause goes to us. Yeah. <laughs> there you have it, everybody. For the record, it took our reporter in New Delhi five hours to get eleven people to interview with us. So special thanks to our reporter and all our interviewees for sharing their honest opinions. What five would you hours. like to see happen wow. with India-U.S. relations? 
Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Asian Boss for more authentic insight into the latest news and cultural trends all over Asia. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. <laughs> that was very interesting. I love my Indian people. I love y'all. Okay. I love all my people. I don't care where you are from. I love every one of y'all. I don't care where you live. I love everybody. I just wish this world was like that. I wish we could just love each other and respect one another. But everybody has evil people has agenda. Every you're gonna have some evil people. People who only think about themselves, you know, um, gonna have some agenda. Um, yeah, we don't live in a perfect world, y'all. We live in a rough world, but you know, just gotta make it. Yeah, just gotta still try to live positive, even though we're gonna go through some rough patches. But you know. It's part of life. It's sad. It's sad, but yeah. But that was very interesting. I enjoyed uh, watching this. Um, if you have any other videos you would like me to react to, you gotta comment below and let your girl know. So go down there and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me reacting to these type of videos. You gotta subscribe to my channel if you want to see more in the future. And uh, yeah. And my lovely people, y'all take care of yourself. Bye and peace.